All right, we have had quite the adventure this morning, right Ash? Yeah. It is not even nine o'clock. When did we wake up? Seven. Seven a.m. this morning. I was awake at six a.m. when Jason woke up, which was super lovely for him to be kind enough to wake me up accidentally. But me and, me and him have been waking up at like five a.m. In fact, he's gonna wear my watch and try and find out if we are both waking up simultaneously throughout the night. So, but we went and took Abby, well no, Jason woke up and took Abby to the dentist to do a consult to take four teeth out. And I had to meet him, because it was a whole city away from us, I had to meet him when her, she was done with her appointment. Hang on, I'm hopping in the parent drop-off lane at school, so I have to be a little cautious here. Uh, so I had to meet him to pick her up when she was done with that consult so that he could head to work because he was already halfway to work given that location. So we picked her up, took her to school. I actually grabbed her some breakfast, got her some pancakes, got Abby a sweet roll and took Abby to school. And we have some time to spare before Ashley is in school and I could take her home, correct? She, we could have made it home in time to get her on the bus, but we quickly ran to Safeway and got Cool Whip, olives, and Jello for Thanksgiving. <laughs> I was like, I'm not even getting a cart. I am just going to get the required things that I need right now for Thanksgiving and not get carried away. We're spending too much money on food. And it's probably a good thing because then I saw caramel sauce and apples and I was like, nope, I don't have a cart in my hand. Can I even line up for parent drop off this early? No. We literally are the third car. <laughs> Yesterday we were the last car. Oh, Ashley, how funny. So, we are, oh, we are early for parent drop off for Ashley to go to school. But now I have done all my grocery shopping for the morning. I don't have to go back out again today at all. Like the girls activity for church tonight is supposed to be, um, a hike to a waterfall yeah I'm not gonna send them out in the rain it's finally started to rain again and they're like yeah that's a hard no <laughs> so we are just waiting right yeah. and you're gonna go to school how many days of school do you have before Thanksgiving well not even after one. today not even one because you have partial day tomorrow um two hours yep school. so Abby will get her she had like weird spacers put on the back teeth, the back molars, in order to make room for her brackets to go on her teeth. So those will come off tomorrow and the brackets will go on and then they're taking the brackets off of the teeth that are gonna get removed next Wednesday. So she's gonna have four teeth pulled and um, anyway, <laughs> it's just been a, a long morning already, but we are, I'm gonna go home and start working on decorating the Christmas trays around my kitchen and pulling out some of that decor. Or not, I don't know, we, we shall see. It's kind of a gloomy, rainy day and it is nice that I have done all my errands so far. Actually, I actually need to stop at the bank, but I've kind of done all the necessary things. So I, I'm looking forward to just having some downtime at home, which will be kind of nice. While we're raining, I was trying to find her a mint, and I remembered that I had stuck these all in here to bring them to my car. These are all my little Hawaii pins, and I haven't put them on. So I, I have some on here. here. So I've got that one from the Big Island, and then I've got a rainbow one. It's hard to blurry. Hard. Yeah, it's having a hard time not be blurry. So I'm just gonna try and see where I can stick them on here. And that'll be kind of fun. I've been kind of sticking them through this little rope. You can but stick I'm, them on everywhere. Yeah. All right, we have Aloha. The Shaka was already on there. Oh, I moved the volcano island. one up. I have my little margarita, my virgin margarita. I think that's a blue Hawaiian, someone told me. But I need to put on two more. But the squirtle has to go. I'm gonna call her. Good, I think. Yes, I have to go to the bank. Thank you for the reminder. Bye. No eating the school whip when you get home. I'll eat it as ice cream. No, you won't. I have to use it for jello and for pumpkin pie. But you can have pumpkin pie. Okay, oh, well. love you. Love you. Bye. Like it's like nine o'clock at night, but it's not. It's just so dark and gloomy outside. 
I've been home for a couple hours, but it's only 11.30 still. <laughs> so I'm having a little snack while I watch um, Dead to Me, new season. Um, it's really good. And I've, I've really enjoyed having some downtime this morning. And I literally have nothing else to do the rest of the day. So I'm kind of just trying to enjoy this downtime, even though this is all here. I technically can't set up for Thanksgiving because I had found out yesterday that Jason took one of our two folding tables and used it at the store. <laughs> so one of his to-do lists tonight is to go buy another one at Costco because it's being used at the store. Like it's not just that he took it to the store, it's being used. So he has to go buy another folding table. My father-in-law is bringing over folding chairs and a veggie plate and brownies for Abby. He's headed to Costco right now. He called me and we've been coordinating turkey time and all that kind of stuff. He's cooking our turkey for me, for all of us, I mean. So I'm just trying to do Christmas, Christmassy things and decorate kind of at a slower pace. So I've been pulling out my little tins. You guys, when you see these tins um, after Christmas, like on the clearance sales, get them because they're perfect for like ornament storage. I don't do like traditional like ornament balls, but they're perfect for ornament storage. Or in my case, ornaments and little tray table knickknacks. So I've kind of been taking up these out and sorting through what's in them. So this is all of my little, I call them twinkle lights. These are all my little twinkle lights. I wish Target would do these ones again. These are, they look like the, you know, the traditional Christmas lights. Can you even see that? I'll show it to you. But I'm gonna go through these and I've already pulled out the ones I wanna use right now. Um, I'm gonna take this one to my desk and put all the batteries in all of that while I watch my show. And then this guy has all of these little wooden trees. So I need to kind of dig out the glue that I've used in the past. Then I'm gonna go get some tree branches. I make a little tree forest with these guys. These ones are ornaments. These ones are ornaments. Um, most of these are ornaments, but I do have my little trees in here. So I'm gonna kind of dig those out, make sure I can punch a hole down in them. In fact, I'll grab a skewer stick. And then I will go outside. I Someone dropped like blueberry sauce all over the floor or something, because it is all over the kitchen. You can't see it, there's a whole trail. I've got some of it soaking up with a towel. So now I've changed socks twice, because I keep stepping in it. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to start kind of getting these prepped. So I'm going to take that one with me, sit and watch a movie. And then this guy has all the trinkets that I like to display with, um, some of it with my, um, what do you call it, my shelves out there. This is an ornament. But then like this guy, I think I'm going to put in my little village, my little house village, as well as like here's little trees. But I also will start to decorate like my little tiered stands like the one at the table. So I'm just, I'm just tinkering. I'm just looking through my stuff. I love all these little things. Just seeing what I can do while I sit here and relax and not stress about it, but having fun at the same time. All right, here's the progress. Maybe I should turn a light on. <laughs> there we go. All right, so I've been working through my bins. I'm going to kind of pick through these things and kind of put them on the shelf if I want to, or start putting them aside for the little tiered trays. But I picked through all my little stumps. It's pouring rain right now, so I'm not going to put um, little tree branches in them, but I will put them over on the shelf where they go. And I've got batteries, and I've been putting batteries in every one of my little light sets. I love these little things. And for these little wire ones, I don't know if you can see, but I kind of wrap can you see that? I wrap it into like a little, so I don't know if you can see, but I kind of coil the cord, the little wire. It sits better on the shelf when it is coiled up like that. You can stretch it out if you need the, the wires to like go longer, but I've got them all set up here. I'm <laughs> kind of trying to keep them apart, especially these guys that keep wanting to get tangled up, but I do know where each of them go on my shelf. These guys go by my nativity. They're like the old school kind. I really want Target to do these ones again. I love these ones. This one is going to go on the tabletop with the little village 
and again this is where the nativities are and then the red one and the green one go in like my little forest area the little village areas that i put on the shelves so i have two of those and then i have three little deer i got on clearance last year at the end of christmas and they're going to go into my little house village on the front table turn it aside i want lights to go onto that tabletop more so than just this one so i might steal one of these guys or i don't know we'll see what i can i don't think i have any more lights so maybe i'll steal one of those all right i definitely love the lights i did steal one of those little ring strings with this kind of bulb if i can find just regular ones i will switch out and use that on the regular shelf over here um, and then i also did these ones up here i like seeing the actual trees like where they can stand up you can see this one better so that's what it's supposed to look like with the trees fully standing up inside the snow that one needs to be shaken down so that the tree is down in the snow and that one has fallen over um so i just put those ones up there like a little garland and then just kind of traipsed the lights through here my little deer don't like to stand up but they're pretty cute and then this is where your christmas cards are going to go i have i did this last year and i loved it because i could just open this up and i can even do like multiple drawers and kind of just stack them up and then their front display when people come over and it's just kind of fun to collect them this is my niece who is getting married we're gonna go to her wedding so she was the first card that i got to put in there so anyway this is all done i have been debating on how i do the advent calendar house thing this is my favorite thing that i got at target last year i love this thing so much i don't know if i'm gonna like i like seeing all the houses so i don't know if i'm gonna use it as an actual advent um last year we did we did you know we put the numbers in starting at one we just put the houses in but maybe we do it like where we take the houses out and put them in a basket or i just leave it i haven't quite decided because i do have an advent calendar it's right down here and i put chocolates in that for the kids and they just come and get it every day so it's not like we have to have an advent calendar but anywho i am going to probably just go ahead and add lights to the nativity areas and then maybe call it good for now i don't know like you can see this is just still a mess i haven't really done anything else in here the tree stumps will be down here this will be made into a little forest those houses will likely come out i might put in some of the uh, metal houses um, in here as well uh, just like a little woodsy cabiny feel but and all those books will likely just come out and be set aside for the holidays maybe i'll put the books in that basket or in that tray and just kind of set them aside so that i can maybe do a little scene down there but anyway that's how it looks right now also with the tree on camera it does you can tell the two different sections right there and right there that have different lights but in person it's melded together a whole lot better and it helps with the tree skirt and the tree um, box that goes down the bottom it kind of takes away from a, the difference in colors. And I added my picks um, right here. These are the little tree picks that I have added. I have not found these again at Michael's. I wanted to get more because I love the texture that it adds to the tree. Um, it just definitely makes it, see how it like hangs out over here and over here. It doesn't make it so like triangle-ish. It just kind of makes it a little bit more natural but i have they haven't had them and they have little pine cones on them and it's just kind of a different type of texture i don't know i'm mad i would love to have some more of them they also cover up the cord of the lights <laughs> i think jason got really annoyed near the end when i asked him to put these lights in because they're not as hidden and i can't touch the tree i'm already going to get hives on that hand for touching it so the tree is going to stay like that until after Thanksgiving. I'm going to keep fiddling and enjoying my time over here. Now that this is kind of done, I will probably put the fake snow on. Um, but I also might go find some tea lights to go in each of these houses. There are spots to put tea lights in them. I do like to have them lit, but I want to have find ones that are on like a remote. <laughs> so I don't have to like open them all up 
and turn them all on. Also, I might look for just a plain set of lights to go on here. I think Target has one for five bucks I might go and get. That way I don't have to tinker with this after I put the fake snow on and then it can just stay on here. alone and now all the squirtles are home but I have fun news for you the shoes better not stay in here in this room though can you take them out into the other room really quick guess what my news is you know how Lindsay is out of town you want to go play with her cat Yeah. <laughs> I knew that would make you smile she came home and she's like my back hurts what else did you say um, Tummy hurts. hurts. It just feels like a really weird. But a cat will put any smile on your face, won't it? And dogs. And dogs. And you get to watch Daisy in about a week, which is kind of it's fun too. A, it's more funner for her. Yeah, she really enjoys you. It's funner for her, not. Okay, um, go and try and see if you can find something to eat, and then we will go over to. Can we go again? <laughs> go quick and get something to eat. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm going in. Oh, she's already right here. She's so cute. Hey, she's so sweetie. Oh, you're getting so big. Are you excited to have us here? You're very... I think you just woke up. Let her go. Okay. Come here. Hi. I just remembered I haven't edited. edited so I just remembered I haven't finished this video today and uh, I've been laying here for just a little while after taking a shower Ashley want to turn this on see if I can turn this light on give me a little bit of light oh thank you um, and Ashley was can I talk about your therapy call tomorrow and what your idea was you can just tell them about the jello thing the, just tell them about the jello thing yeah. Okay, we're making cottage cheese jello tomorrow for Thanksgiving. I'm also making the potatoes and we have to set up the table, right? Yeah, All that I kind of stuff. That's what I was thinking. And uh, so we were talking about here, can you braid my hair, Ashley? Can you climb over here real quick and braid it? Um, I don't know what. So we were talking about it and she was like, I'm just going to make the cottage cheese jello, not regular jello. And I was like, yeah. Here, come over here. Is that better light? No. Anyway, so. <laughs> she was like, well, I hope I don't mess up the jello like I did last time. And I said, well, you didn't mess up the jello last time. And she said, no, remember when I put the cup in the pot? <laughs> Do you guys remember? <laughs> I don't know if we, I don't think we were able to film it that day. I don't think, I don't know but what I, I was thinking. I was just like, I said, I boil could, two cups of water. Yeah, I was, I. And so she put the plastic <laughs> measuring cup of two cups of water <laughs> inside the pot. The whole plastic cup inside the pot. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know. I, like, you've never done that before. I, I think I just took what you Here, said too seriously. 
wait, literal. She looked, <laughs> she took it too literal. So funny. So I'm like, yeah, you're not boiling water tomorrow. You're just gonna put it all together and mix it up and put a lid on it and put it in the fridge. So <laughs> I thought that was so funny that she remembered that she messed what, messed up one of my pots. But we are gonna get do. A new pot. I have gotten many new pots lately, which is annoying. But. We're gonna end our night here. I am just sitting by the fireplace, just enjoying the lights and the atmosphere. Someone keeps turning off the lights up there and I don't know why. Who keeps turning off the Christmas lights? Jace? I haven't touched any lights. It's Who's turning them off? Up there, do you turn them off? No. It's Kaylee, she, she Anyway, it. someone keeps turning off the lights. And um, I'm just trying to enjoy the atmosphere and the quieter day that I've had today because I know starting tomorrow I'm gonna have to bake and cook and clean and prep the table and get ready for Thanksgiving. My father-in-law came over today with some folding chairs. Um, brownie mix for Abby, by the way, Abby. Gram Abby, what? Grandpa brought you more brownie mix. Okay. Um, we don't need it for, for like a week. Cause yeah. we'll have so many pies, but, and then he brought over a veggie tray and then he's bring he's cooking the turkey on Thursday and he'll come over about two hours before we're going to eat so that I can make the gravy. So, um, it's kind of fun to plan that with him today and see him, but we're going to say good night. Correct. Yep. We're going to end that with you and sign off. We hope that you have a good Thanksgiving. This will post after Thanksgiving. It'll be full Christmas mode at this point in time. So happy holidays and we'll see you guys next time. Take care. Of all the magic places in the world I've been to, this is where my heart is. Oh, you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you.